lot of people know my dad, Shannon Campbell, big off-road guy. <laughs> Been in it for years since before I was born. I had no interest in really getting into a car, driving it at all. And then I saw my brother finally get into rock crawling and it kind of took the jealousy in myself and I wanted to get in it too. So my dad hooked me up with rock crawling first because he believed that that was the fundamentals of starting out driving and off-road basically. Your throttle control, learning where you should put your tires, um, how to winch out of things. That was our big learning curve when we were younger and he wanted us to consume all of that before we got into anything fast paced. The Campbell family name is synonymous with one of the most brutal and challenging off-road championships in the world, the Ultra 4 King of the Hammers race. While many are familiar with Hall of Famer and two-time KOH champion Shannon, his daughter Bailey Campbell is now poised to follow in her father's footsteps. For the past nine years, Bailey has been competing in a male-dominated sport and climbing the ranks of rock crawling's elite races. She has shown tremendous determination and dedication to both helping the family race team and to taking her own program to the next level. The last two seasons, Bailey has stepped up, taking podium finishes, hard charger awards, and becoming the first woman in the 4400 class of Ultra 4 to lead King of the Hammers. Bailey is laser focused on advancing her racing career, blowing people away with her aggressive driving style and never give up attitude. But it's her love of the sport and her growing family that keeps her motivated. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty awesome having them, you know, interested in the stuff I'm doing. I think when they were, well, they were little kids and I started sticking them in cars and it was kind of babysitters, you know, they'd, I'd let them just cruise around while we were out doing stuff and having fun. And then as they got a little older, you know, Waylon was first and Bailey was watching him. And I was thinking, oh, she just wants to do it just because she sees all the limelight or whatever, you know. And so she, we got, we put her in a car and she just, you know, she didn't know how to work on it or anything. And I know but Waylon was like, Dad, I always got to work on her stuff. And, you know, now it's the other way around. Now she shows him what to do almost. You know, it's, it's pretty funny. She, she's learned a lot and she works way harder than most guys that I know to get there. She came to me and, or I don't know, she was helping Wayland with something and she said, when is dad gonna put me in a car? And I said, well, I don't know, you have to ask him. <laughs> but that entailed being down here all the time, just like her brother. I was really excited when my sister started showing interest. You know, there for a little while, I didn't think she was, she was gonna join my dad and I in racing and uh, it was kind of a bummer, you know? And just one day out of the blue, I just remember her tell my dad she wanted to go fast and here she is, you know, hauling ass and sometimes kicking up my dad in our asses, you know. I started doing it when I was about 15 years old and my first rock crawling competition, my dad was my spotter. So that was really fun for me. Then my brother started co-driving with me. My uncle started to be my spotter. Um, now my husband's my co-driver. We kind of just made it a whole family affair and started doing it together. And I think my dad really enjoyed that too because now we were all at the shop, starting to work on things together, and it just kind of gave us all a bond, made us feel like we had something in common, something we were all good at, and I really love that. My dad and my grandpa, they both raised me that the whole women card didn't really matter in this shop. Um, they treated me just like a boy, <laughs> you know? You got your hands dirty, oh, you smashed your finger, I'm sorry. Like, yeah, it's gonna hurt for a little bit, but you'll get over it. But they wanted me to be just like them, basically. Hard-headed, being able to put up with any interruptions in the shop as far as yelling or arguing. And I think that really helped me today, you know, I can put up with anything and you're not gonna hurt my feelings because I'm gonna give it right back to you. It's cool to be able to watch your family, you know, do well and it's, like I said, we're still a team. One person finishes good, you know, we all finish good. We still uh, you know, party and, you know, enjoy it with each other. So, you know, we both raced together in Ultra 4. Um, 
we compete against each other, but then in other, other sports we race together in the same car. Now having a daughter, um, I'm just more excited to have her watch her mom succeed and race to maybe get her the drive to want to succeed or do something beyond racing, you know, just that drive, that, that, that will, that want. Being a mom now of almost a one-year-old, it's probably motivated me even more. Um, I have fun with it because I can bring her down to the shop with me. She sits in a swing for maybe a little bit more than an hour and I get so much work done. Um, she'll sit in a bouncer, she'll sit in the office with my mom who I'm so gracious to have here to help me watch her. I've been with Fox from the beginning of my racing career. Um, I couldn't even tell you when my dad signed with them because it's just been that long. So that's who I started with and I won't switch to anything else because I know that whatever they come out with next is just gonna be that much better. With Ultra 4 racing, a shock tuning is probably the most important thing, especially when we're headed out to King of the Hammers, you know, because um, you have to work with the suspension to be capable in the rocks as well as the desert. So we're working with ride height, the right spring rates, the right valving. I know we drive Fox crazy with all of that, um, but it becomes a major component to our driving abilities and being successful out there. Suspension is probably the most important thing in off-road besides just having something that runs. I mean, and if you never had anyone tune a shock or been around one or drove one that wasn't tuned, I mean, from the time that I've started to, to now, you feel like you're sitting on your couch. That's how good it is when you know how to work on a shock and you got the good shock. And uh, yeah, it's pretty proud to be with Fox. They got, they got it figured out. One of the most rewarding things for me is coming across the finish line and that moment of seeing my dad just standing there waiting for me, give me a pat on the back. It's very rewarding. Deep down, I knew she would become one of the top competitors. I'm extremely proud of my family. I, I think each one of them is amazing. I'm kind of a, male, I'm a pretty mellow person, but to, you know, to see her lined up with me at a start line and up there with me, qualifying up there with me. I mean, she's out qualified me before, you know what I mean? And I mean, it's, it's pretty cool. It's probably one of the best feelings a dad could have. The best advice I can give to young aspiring racers is be able to work on your car. Have that mechanic mentality of what's going on with it and why it's doing this and feeling it in the driver's seat of how the suspension's working, knowing what you're working on, and how to work on it.